Welcome to Allie's Way Tarot, and you're watching the Chisme Channel, psychic medium readings and teachings recorded by me, Allie. Relax, subscribe, and share to your friends, and let the magic begin. Hi guys, so welcome back to another celebrity reading. I know it's been a hot minute, but we're here. And we're going to do the celebs today. So, like I said before, this is a new week. I know it's in a transition. Um, so, I'm going to do Monday, Wednesday. I'm trying to do it. Let me, let's see how my body can hold up. Monday, Wednesday is going to be like spiritual guidance and teachings. And then, like, Tuesday is going to be celebs. And Thursday, we'll do spirit babies. So, basically, a full week of me. Every day. <laughs> um like yeah every day let me know if you guys want like one day a week teaching and then two readings we'll figure it out along the way but um yeah i woke up super early just for this like i had to do this it was really bothering my sleep i said i had to i had to put it out so i want to do that and then get some shut eye but i can't sleep i have to do it i love working so um yeah, so we're gonna. I'm gonna use two separate decks. I'm gonna use the Halloween deck for Nikki because if you guys are real barbs, you'll know that she has her alter ego Roman, and Roman is a little bit of a loquito. He's like you know crazies. Um, he's just the boss. So I'm gonna use that deck, and I'm gonna use the Light Seers deck for Cardi to see what's really going on between the two of these chicas. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna bring the this a little closer, just a little bit, not too much. Okay. Now, hopefully it doesn't shake because, like I said, I'm new to this new tripod and stuff. Like, I'm not used to a ring light in front of me. So, I'm just going to try to be, you know, be mindful of me. I am a psychic medium. So, if I pause and I do weird pauses, like, you know, it's me channeling. I'm not gone. All right? Just give me a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get into what's happening. And then we're going to do some oracle. And I'll just interpret it from there. So basically, we're just using three decks today. Probably a 15, 20 minute reading. Right? Okay. And let's get into it. I'm going to do I'm gonna do Nikki first. Because Nikki is a little bit emotional. She's a Sag. For those of you who don't know. I'm sure you do. And Cardi is a Libra. And yes, Libras are sensitive. I'm one. I'm a Libra sun. So, and I'm a Libra Venus, so I know all about Libra. Um, but I know that Sag is also, they're very hard shell. My mom is actually on the cusp of Sag, and her moon is actually a Sag. Very hard shell, very fiery in the mouth. However, very emotional. So they both are very emotional ladies, even though they act tough, right? And they're in the rap game, the irony. But uh, let's get into what she's got to say first. I'm going to do what, what does Nicki Minaj, how does Nicki Minaj feel about Cardi B? Let's just say that, right? I'm going to pull three cards for that. How does she feel? Okay. I'm not good at Roman numerals. I'm going to try to get into that Roman numeral stuff. But we have the pumpkins. Okay. We have the strength in reverse. So that's, that's telling quite a bit. Okay. And we have the Queen of Pumpkins. Didn't I tell you? I knew Roman was going to come out. Roman's coming out. Look. Back at the deck, we have Lightning. So, four of Lightning. I know IV is Lightning. And you know why I know about IV? Because um, Beyonce's daughter's name is IV. And I know she loves four. So, like that. So, <laughs> I know after f the Roman numeral five, you lost me. <laughs> like, I cannot. I cannot tell. But I know what they mean, though. That's the funny thing about it. I don't know. It's very interesting to me how that works out. Anyway, we have <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj basically sees this, saw her as a person with a new skill, a new creative spunk to her, right? But unfortunately, if you see the strength is in reverse, we have where she feels weak. I really feel like she's bringing up motorsport, if anything. Motorsport is, um, yeah, motorsport is all about, like, the verses and which one didn't put in their rap music first or whatever. It was something with the record label. That's what I'm getting. Queen of, um, Queen of Pumpkins, 
to me it means queen of pentacles so this is a caring lady obviously she's a, a very kind-hearted person i feel like she did welcome nikki into the rap game very motherly like very loving obviously we have the four of, of lightning in the back of the deck which means she's right now she's taking back her energy her power she's not all about fighting with her anymore she doesn't even know why they had an argument i really feel like i know nikki always is in problems <laughs> but it's honestly she does not know how they went south i feel like this is a behind the scenes record label kind of thing and they stirred up some drama the tmz's and whatever paparazzi's in a way on purpose um yeah she's definitely bringing up motorsport because i'm not sure if you can hear it but it's pretty early for activity where i live and all of a sudden the ambulance is like making noises and that's similar to the sound of motorsport you know let's see how cardi feels how does cardi b feel towards Nicki minaj sorry for those like you know the what do you even call it noise in the background but i wanted to do this live on camera ten of cups so she does see her as family we have the five of cups but she's isolated as well Six of Pentacles, also about craft and money. And we got the Temperance, which is funny, right? Because Temperance is Sag energy. And you'd think that her being a Sag, Nikki, um, that she would have probably had the Temperance. But Cardi is actually saying she has the Temperance. And we have Ten of Wands in the back of the deck. So both ladies, um, one is taking back her energy, another sees that it's a burden. So Cardi sees this as a burden right now, talking to Nikki. I don't feel like she has any hatred or ill feelings. She too is confused about what happened. Cardi came in the business very immature to understanding that people do stir up drama even when it's not true. So she has a lot to learn there. But I don't feel like they hate each other at all. I don't think that they hate each other. I feel like it's a lot of, you know, let's just be honest. <laughs> The media doesn't like to see two brown girls loving on each other. So that's something that is still in the works of healing in this generation. It's just true. Um, I'm going to say what happened. I'm going to get their versions. No, actually, yeah, I'm going to get their versions. And then I'm going to see what truly happened with the Oracle deck, okay? All right. From Nikki's perspective, what happened? And then if there's any possibility for reconciliation. So let's do what happened between them. The chariot that's pushing forward. Oh, king of lightnings. There was a man involved. Okay. We have two cards. So she wants to talk a lot about it page of pumpkin then i say there's a lot of people involved look at this and then we have the ace of candles back of the deck we have i think this is i don't know the lightning so yeah like i said there's a lot of people involved i feel like the mother energy of course is nikki nikki is a high priestess woman like it's just the truth she's a high priestess woman um obviously ace of candles is something that is starting to have a a new adventure being brave enough to speak about what happened right now i feel like she does want to talk about it but she doesn't know really how to talk about it like if she was to bring this back up chances are the media a page of pumpkins chances are the media would probably stir this into another drama again and be like oh maybe she's stirring up drama and being C cardi does listen to a lot of things she would be like Nicki minaj wants to start up drama but no Nicki wants to make peace and heal there are a lot of people and assistants involved whether they did good or bad they tried to alert both girls about what's being said about one another but all it did was provoke negative emotions towards one another so like if they had an interview and cardi said something about nikki even if it was nice their publicist or whatever would go and tell them and then it would stir up emotions you know and bring that ill feeling towards one another almost and that's what went down really i do feel like because cardi came in also very fresh to the music industry with a sound that nobody really heard of in a long time it threatened nikki's career 
and Nikki wasn't threatened by it, but it was her team, her staff. They somehow didn't believe in her. Not Lil Wayne, not Drake, but like I'm talking like manager and an assistant and those people. So they're like, oh my God, is Cardi good? Should we like go over to Cardi? And it caused that, that kind of drama. I think they had a song together they were supposed to do together, but unfortunately it didn't get made. Uh, let's see. What's, is there any outcome for her to get back together again with Cardi? Mm -hmm. Four of candles. Three of candles. It's <laughs> counting down. Four, three, two, one. Oh, king of potions. There's Roman. That's him. And the queen of... Oh, this is giving moment for life energy. And the back of the deck, what do we have? Two of potions. So there is reconciliation. She does not mind at all. She wants to start new. Look at that deck. Oh my God, Nick Cardi and Nikki. <laughs> Nikki is not playing. See that deck? I'm a trigger warning next time. I didn't know that that was so graphic. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't feel like she wants to. I don't really get the the idea, the vibe that she's mad. Like, I feel like if anything, she's actually excited to talk about it as a grown woman. She's like, now that you have a child and you've womaned up. Because you see what's funny? Nikki has always womaned up without a baby. But it took Cardi to have a baby to woman up. So I feel like she's like, now that you've womaned up, maybe we can have a conversation in a way that you used to have as a little girl. Let's have this now as a woman. Let's speak together. <laughs> you know, oh my God, I'm getting her voice and stuff. But yeah, I'm just seeing it like that. She wants to have that conversation and go and have dinner and talk and talk really, truly. I don't get that vibe at all that she's pissed, mad or anything. Now let's see, what's the version of Cardi B's version? What does Cardi feel that went on? Because there's always two sides to the story and then my oracle breaks the deck and lets me know the truth. Queen of Wands, okay. The towers in reverse, okay. I said it, that she came to town. Look, the Hierophant being traditional and the headache. So they were pressing her about how she has the, sim the similar sound, but the different sound, the back of the deck, we have Hangman. Similar sound and different sound at the same time as Nikki and the competition. So she's saying that the competition is what broke them apart, which is the same thing that Cardi's, but same thing that Nikki said. So if both women agree that's what happened on their higher self plane. So they do feel like it was someone involved. Although Cardi doesn't know who it was. Looking back now she sees that yeah, it was someone that did something. She kind of acts before she thinks. So she's like, "Oh, now looking back, yeah, someone did do something." But Nikki always knew that someone was going to do something shady in the business. So she always kept cool and calm and collected and never tried to fight any new rapper coming in that may have been a female. Um but Cardi was just like fiery, flighty, let's square up. You know, she came with her Dykeman energy. <laughs> and that's what happened. Uh, let's see. Any possible reconciliation? She can't imagine it, though, because she said there's Knight of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, she's like, mm. The Empress. Let's see. Let's see. One more. Ten of Pentacles. Back of the deck. We got the hermit. So if it would take some time because she's still stuck in that energy of I don't know. Nine of Swords is a, I don't know, stuck in your head, kind of like fuck me at night thoughts where you can't get it out of your subconscious mind. So she does think about this from time to time. No, she doesn't lose sleep over it, but she does think about it. And yeah, there's possible reconciliation with the the, the mother energy, the empress. Um, being a mother has changed her in many ways. She doesn't fight like she used to. But she's willing to open up now and listen more to different things and just different perspectives, positive perspectives. So I do feel like there is a possible reconciliation that's going to be on the table very soon. Even if we don't see it in the physical, not everything is meant for it. Social media is a lie. So not everything that we see on social media is true. And whatever we don't see doesn't mean it's not happening, okay? Now let's see. What else? Oracle deck. 
anything for Cardi and Nikki. Any advice they have is prosperity. We have integrity. Oh, by the way, guys, those macarons are on my shop. And so is that birthday cake. It's a candle. <laughs> Look at me soliciting. Uh, seclusion. Like I said, they need to be alone. Bitterness. Letting go of the bitterness. Back of the deck we have. Dreams. So, yeah. I mean, it's all cupcakes and rainbows from here. So, I don't think that there's not a possibility for reconciliation. I think that there is. And it's going to come very soon. I feel it in my core. So, I hope that you guys like this reading. It was a quick brief Nikki and Cardi. And, um, yeah. Let me know how you like it. And I'm going to be doing Janae Eichel and Big Sean next. Because I love them. And I followed Janae before she even got famous. So, I've been really like her like underrated concerts almost and to see her grow up and bloom i'm like i'm so proud of her so i'm gonna do her and big sean and i'm excited but i won't touch her baby because um well she's pregnant and that soul is very tender and delicate and that's like why would i pull a soul that's not even in the world yet it's kind of messed up but um i do feel like it's her brother reincarnated i do feel it in my core even if it's a girl it's going to have masculine energy that is my that is her brother that's my auntie i know it for a fact um but yeah i know for a fact i could just say if i know it so um uh, stay tuned for janae aiko and big sean i'm excited about that yes and i'm gonna like let you guys know a little bit about their relationship they are twin flames so i'm excited to tap into that and uh thank you for subscribing liking and sharing and i'll see you in the next one guys bye Thank you guys for subscribing to Ali's Way Tarot, readings done by Ali. I appreciated you guys hearing the Cheesemate on our Cheesemate channel. Don't forget to click the bell notification on YouTube right here for more content on all readings. Join me on Smithy for exclusive content such as personal readings, manifestational tips, tricks, and teachings, along with extended readings from YouTube and more. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share to my TikTok and my Instagram. To add me on Instagram, click the request button and I will accept you at Ali's Way Tarot the same way it's spelled on YouTube. For oracle cards and candles, don't forget to visit Snipfeed. That will take you to my Shopify link. See you in the next one, Lavender Loves.